So are you ready to boost your sales in 2026 without pouring money into agencies that don't deliver? And with over 27 years of experience and having helped hundreds of business owners, I'm going to guide you step by step through the latest Google business profile setup that I use for my clients. And I'm going to use a fictional business and show you how I'm going to get it set up, verified, protected from suspension. And by the end of this video, you'll know exactly how to turn your listing into a constant flow of local sales and leads on Google Maps this year. Okay, so first you just make sure your business has at least number one, real address, number two, a phone number, and number three, a website. Now you're ready to set it up and it will look like this when it's complete. And you can get found on Google Maps, on Google Search, on AI mode, all these ways are the ways in which your business will get found. So step two, you need to claim or register. Now, here's a big trap. Before you do anything, search your business name on Google Maps. If it's there, you need to claim it. Don't create a duplicate or Google might just suspend your profile. If it's not there, then go ahead and you need to register it from scratch, which is step number three. So let's set this up from scratch. So now go to google.com forward slash business and make sure you use a Google account that's tied up to your business, not a personal one. Then hit manage now and then that button will take you through so that we can then go through the process of this after answering a few questions. Okay, so the first one is your business name. So type in your business name and this is a, just a quick tip. If you haven't picked your business name yet, you might want to register it and include your main services and location in the business name. This gives a huge benefit to local rankings. But here's the thing. Your listing must be the real world name, your real business name, or Google will flag it and your competitors may flag it. And that could get your profile suspended. So don't go outside of it if it's not the case. So in my example, I'm going to make up a business and I've called it Zeus SEO. OK, so I'll click continue. And once you hit continue, you've then got to pick your business type and the rules have changed this year. And if you mess this up, Google might just hit you with a suspension. So here's the important things to follow. And this is how to get it right. So you've got three business types. Number one, online retail. So if you're going for this, this is really everything that's online. So if you sell gifts, if you do Etsy, if you sell software or courses, then you need to pick this, but only pick it if you never see customers in person. Now, the second one is local store, which is for walk-in shops and gyms and salons, clinics, florists, you know, the options here are to just unlock so you get directions to your store. So this is because you want customers turning up. You need to get your opening hours in there and just put what's popular times and they'll be featured too. And it's perfect for just walking in traffic from your customers. But the third area is the service business. And this is for those that perhaps have contractors, those with no storefront, but you still have customers like plumbers, electricians, roofers, cleaners, gardeners, pest control, builders. The thing is, is you'll be asked to set a service area and instead of a business address here. And this helps you then rank locally for terms like near me when they're searching because they know the area you're covering rather than a particular storefront. Now, in my case, I'll see how the online retail goes. I've not used this before and I'll put Zeus SEO for that. And if your business fits more than one of these criteria, then that's fine too. You can then add more than one tick. So just pick the ones that apply and then hit next. OK, so now we move on to the category and this is the biggest ranking factor. Here's a quick ranking hack for you. Check your top competitors. So go to Google Maps and see what categories they're using. And you may just want to use that to start with. But here's an even better little hack. If you use a link that I've put down below by Plepper, this will take you through to this page here. And there you'll then see in the description, it shows you where the most up to date categories are when you click through. Now, if you spot a new category on that plepper tool on that link and it matches your business, then grab it because it's going to give you an edge. But the bottom line is, is pick one that truly fits your business. Google will suggest then choices and you can start typing these in 
and then you'll see there in the drop down how it works. Now, in my case, I can't get SEO or search engine optimization, so I'll just add marketing consultant, and that works for me. And then you click next. And it takes you through then to areas. And seriously, you just list the areas that you actually serve. Don't try to trick Google by adding more. You can update this at any time. So there's no stress, just hit next on that. Now, contact details, so throw in your phone number, your website, ideally both if you have both. And if you use tracking URLs, then you can add that in there too. Then click next. Discovered. Now, these are just a few little extras that might just help. So you can opt into them if you want. Maybe just get some tips from Google that can be helpful. And then click continue. Step number four, verification. Now, this is where things can get tricky. Google might verify you instantly as it did on my SEO business, which I was quite surprised about. Or it may just want to send you a postcard or a text and where you put a code in, or it might just ask you to do a business video. There's no guarantee on what method it's going to option you with, but just follow Google's prompts. Don't worry, it's not difficult. You just need to do it. And if you can't do it right now, then don't worry as well. Just go back to it and verify for later. Now, in my case, I got the business instantly verified, which is quite remarkable, really. But anyway, I'm going to be happy enough with that so that I'll continue on this. So step number five, adding services. Now, this is really important and often ignored. Add every service you actually offer. Add the details, match them with your website. So if you do services on your website, match the two together there. Google needs to see what is it you actually do. Google's not going to guess. Now, this is super important because showing up in your local search and showing up on AI powered searches are all going to be based on these types of services. Only tick the ones that really make sense. Then you can get your customizable offers out there. You can get all sorts of posts on there as well with those within those services. So I'll add a few of mine, which is uh, for Zeus's SEO. I'll put their consulting business and then I can move on and I'll click next. Now, step number six is your hours. So look, we know that you can rank a lot higher when you're opened, but that doesn't mean then put 24 seven opening because that wouldn't make sense because visitors would then be visiting you at three in the morning. So Google checks this. It makes sure that there's honesty there. And if you want to build trust and your rankings, then you need to make sure that you are open when you say you are. So when it comes to adding my fictional business, I've put eight till six. Those were the days that I'll be open. Next. Step number seven, description. Now, this is like your about page, in effect, for your business. So fill it in. You've got 750 characters. So put in some keywords. Make sure you've got your top services there, your locations. Make sure that you show all the areas you serve. Put some credibility. And really, all those things are going to help you to build up some trust in Google. And then Maybe these descriptions will pop up from time to time in the search results on Google Maps. It may be a recommendation through AI. So if you really nail this, you make it more likely that Google is going to suggest you as the business that customers actually choose. So I'll take this from my SEO consulting website. I'll copy and paste that in. But of course, you may want to adapt it with your customers in mind. And I'll hit next. Now, step number eight is your photos, and you can learn so much from this because the whole point is to show real proof that you do the work you say you do. So upload photos that give customer trust, that show that you should be picked above the competition. Use real images, show your team, use your locations, show you've got happy customers. Basically prove that your business is authentic. Now, if you need inspiration, here's a little tip. Go to Google Images and get inspired by what Google rewards there at the top of the rankings. So if you're a plumber, type in your area and plumbing and see what Google Images suggests. And then use that as an inspiration for taking your own photographs. And you can then see what Google rewards and you can replicate your own version for your business. Now, I would spend some time on this normally, but I'm just going to click through. Now on to step number nine. Google advertising, well, Google is a business, so they need to make their money. So a quick heads up here, Google's always going to try and sell you ads, but honestly, you don't really need them. If your Google business profile is correctly optimized and working as it should, then you can skip this because it's going to bring in more than enough traffic once you get it optimized. So focus on optimizing your profile and that's going to save you your marketing budget forever. 
And now we finally go to step number 10, which is when we put it live, the exciting bit. So when you signed in and you then search for my business in your browser, you'll now start to see your profile. Now, if you need to verify, it will say that. But if it's being verified, it will now be ready to go, as you can see here with mine. So in just a few minutes, I've now got this registered, but I can see I now need to optimize it a little bit further. So from here, you can start to add offers, products, you can gather reviews, and you can really turn this into a lead machine. But here's the cool bit. If you really want to get some game-changing traffic, more customers, more sales, and more leads, then you need to watch this next video, where I'm gonna reveal the exact tips that I use to take my clients from invisible on Google to the top of Google. So click this video next, and you'll learn some very powerful hacks. I'll see you there.